once you have set up your campaign, all of that information we put in in the last video, you need to start building the actual email. Now, this is kind of the fun part, of course, that you can do. Now, it takes you initially to this screen that we have here. Now, you have several options. First, you can select a template. Now, if you look down here, there are several templates, and each have uh, a gray area, which is a banner. Then you have the dark gray areas, which are pictures, and then the lines, which are text. And you see there's a lot of different potential templates that you can use. Uh, and any of those will work. You can also use a save template. Now, I have saved several of the forms that I've used over the years as templates. And that makes it easy because then you can have something set up uh, specifically for a particular type of uh, email. Once you get that uh, once you get that established, then you just open that template. It's already set, ready to go. You can also pull from any of your previous campaigns, and uh, you can see all of the previous campaigns that we've had here. And you look down through this, and there's lots of different potential campaigns that we could pull from. But one we're going to show you is probably the easiest, and that's to simply select a theme. Now this uh, defaults to all of the themes that they have, but you can choose from specific ones, such as, uh, such as for instance, birthday, uh, newsletters, nonprofits, photography, education, a whole bunch of them. I'm just going to leave it with all of the themes, and we're going to look down through this list here, and there are several types, and the one that catches my eye, uh, particularly for what I want to do, is one called Postcard. So I'm going to just click Select, and that will then take me to a page where I can start modifying what we have called postcard. Now it's going to take a moment for it to load. Okay, there it is. And here we have a, a an already made email. Now there are several parts of this email. First up here, you may not even notice it, but in this area you are to enter a short preview of what your uh, emails content is like so we're going to click on the we're going to highlight it and click on the little pencil and this is going to be about novel oops, sorry have to eliminate the placeholder text I will put novel course begins July 15. Okay, so that's what we'll put there. And then uh, I can click Save and Close, and it appears right up there in that section. A little small for you to see from here. Now I can change all of these other areas as well. For instance, uh, this here has a, uh, a little logo. Uh, and that's an, that's an image, and I want to replace that image, so I'm going to replace it with something that I've already previously uploaded. And here is our uploads, and I'm going to use this uh, banner here that uh, I have selected, so I'll just click and select click here and then click select and that banner will go in there now it gives me a warning this banner is so big as that it may obliterate inboxes images should be around uh, eight six hundred to eight hundred pixels wide let's fix it so I click on let's fix it 
and now I can say, okay, I'm going to make it 600 wide, and it automatically, as long as I have the lock here, maintains the proportions. So we click on that. Yes, much better. Click on save. And wait for it to adjust its size. And there it is, right in place. Now, at this point, I'm going to uh, start making, I can make other changes here. And up here, for instance, I click on this, and uh, it says Square Gallery Presents. So I'm just going to put in here Word, ma Word Master Media. Media. Sorry. Uh, to keep it from going into a new paragraph, you have to hold down the sh uh, shift key while you hit the enter key. So Wordmaster Media presents, and this is going to be write your novel, your, your way. Okay, of course. Okay, that's pretty good. So that box there is fine. So now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to edit this box. And we'll just eliminate this here. And I'm going to type in here, if I can ever get that. And I'm going to type in here my information about my novel. Learn how to write a novel in 100 days or less by adapting adapting to your own personal writing style. For more information, let's see, then the course begins, begins July 15, 2016, for more information sorry I should but click here for more information and then I just highlight the click area and I find my little link wherever it is there's my little link and I enter a web address word master media dot business capitalist dot net slash courses dot html okay and I click insert And down here, I've got a button, and I'm going, to, and I'm going to edit that button, and I'm going to change it, change the text from register now, and down here, word master media dot business catalyst.com slash 
courses.html. So I'm all ready to go. And I can click that save and close. And now down here, this is all of your legal information. You don't want to touch that. Just leave that alone. Now this has a bunch of default uh, styles. If you don't like the styles, that's okay. If you click over here on design, you can go through and change any of them. As far as you can change the body type, uh, to uh, body foreground, background, border, the type, change the color of the type, change the font size, line height, text, even font, all of those sorts of things you can you can make changes to. Uh, uh, same thing with header, footer, mobile styles, but all sorts of different things you can make uh, uh, changes to. You could go around and play around with those. Over here you have a bunch of different items that you can add to your post. And those include pictures, box text, etc. Now me, I need to change this picture here because I don't want a picture of Monet in my ad for a novel writing course. So I'm going to just click on edit and I'm going to click replace and this takes me to my to this file manager. Now if you didn't have it in here already you can just simply click to upload and then you can bring in whatever item you want. But mine is already here, so I'm going to click New Class, Select, and there's my, <coughs> there's my item uh, placed right in there. And I can even put a link to it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put that same link, uh, uh, Word Master Media dot business catalyst catalyst dot com slash courses dot html I click on insert so now I've got a clickable link over here uh, with the picture save and close so I'm okay um, I can I do want to add a social share button this will allow them to share my share this on the web so I'm going to just drag that over here drag and drop lock here and I'm going to put my uh, Facebook there's going to be Facebook Twitter and forward to a friend and uh, I, I can put in link text I'm just going to put share share tweet and forward that's all I'm going to add click save and close see and now I think I want the register button a little bit higher so all I got to do is hover over it and then grab a hold of that section with the dots and that just raises it up so I've got my register now up here I've got my share buttons here, and I've got my legal down here. Well, I think that's looking pretty good. It's time for me to uh, go over here and send this. So my, I click Next, and it asked me uh, on to confirm a lot of things, and we are waiting for it to get there. And, uh, you know, it, it, I choose the list that I wanted. Do I have a subject line that I like? Uh, replies. Replies should go to Wordmaster Media. Uh, uh, tracking. And all that looks good. Social is set up. HTML email. Uh, monkey rewards. Uh, all sorts of things. All this is in there. So we go down here. And I can schedule this. Or I can send it now. I am thinking about sending it right now, so I'm just going to click send, 
and then I click send now and that is now going out to my email list telling them all about my new class and I get a confirmation saying high fives your cat pain <coughs> is in the send queue and will go out short and that's all there is to setting up and creating your email on MailChimp. Next time we're going to look at how you can set up a form to gather email addresses. Until then, this is Terry Main at WordMaster Media. I'll be seeing you next time.